Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, the folks at Humble Bundle have partnered with a couple of creators to give us the Unreal Engine Asset Mega Bundle. And this is more of an environment set of assets that you can now use and create amazing stuff. There's about 30 items that you'll be getting with this bundle and by default, this should be costing about 2,334. But because this is Humble Bundle, you'll be getting all of these for 21.81, which is an extreme steal if you consider the quality of what you'll be getting alongside the price value of even one of these assets or you can simply pay a little bit more to support charity. And this partnership is with the folks at Barrel Back Studios, Pentanor, Edano Artworks, Mine Art, Tenno, and Kang Artworks. And this cuts across a ton of things, from the modular Amsterdam city street, all the way to American Village, down to modern homes, some interiors, movie theater and foyer, and so much more. So if you're into Unreal Engine and you're looking for an environment that you can work with, then you can simply come through and check this one out. And today we're going to go through a few of this environment so that you guys can see the quality of what you'll be getting. And starting off, we're going to be taking a look at the modular Amsterdam city street. And this is what we've got. So if you've ever been to Amsterdam, possibly if you've ever been around the canal, you probably would recognize this place. So this is one of those iconic places you may or you possibly must visit if you've been to Amsterdam because it's got the famous, you know, uh, bars and the famous red light district. So if you've never been, possibly you're thinking about going to Amsterdam, this is one of the nice places to visit. Around this part, you might also enjoy some of the cuisines right here. There is also a canal tour which you can do by boat. So that is also very interesting. The creators have actually done an amazing job by not just putting things and actually making them almost OT, but they've also layered it with some nice cameras that can get you some very good visuals. At the same time, around these areas is also where you get to find some of the famous Amsterdam trinkets which you can buy. So maybe if you're into like stationaries, key rings, you know, nice good old stuff, you'd also be able to find them. And of course, you also find tons of bikes around this area. And this scene has actually been done to fit that very realistic kind of Amsterdam scene that you see when you eventually visit. So if you've been thinking about building something that is sort of Amsterdam related, or maybe you're looking for a canal set of asset, or maybe some of this asset that is currently available here, and maybe you're thinking about using them for your very own scenes, then you can definitely come through and check out this particular pack. Now let's take a look at the game entertainment arena pack, and this looks pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down so that we can see this even more. I'm tapping G on the keyboard to get rid of all of these overlays so we can see it. So in here, you would notice we've got a ton of retro stuff. These, I believe, should be like the reception where you can get some drinks and stuff. If we go all the way down here, you can see we've got more consoles around there. And we've also got some other cool stuff around here as well. So we can take a look at this racing one. There's the VIP part where you can do some pool stuff. And we've got the game zone where you can actually enjoy playing a console, possibly a PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. So we've got a few of those as well. And we can also take a look at some other parts as well, which includes, I think there is the air ping pong here as well. So that's also available. So if you're thinking about building a game entertainment arena scene, then you've got assets for that. And these again, like you can see here, a very high quality asset. They've got them snacks, they've got tables. All of these are available. Now let's take a look at the college cafeteria. So within the college cafeteria, actually, if you open this file, this is basically what you get. So you have to simply just dive right in for you to be able to see the cafeteria. And this looks pretty cool. So this is the cafeteria. So just in case you are thinking about building a scene that has to do with something like this, or maybe you're looking for assets like this, you definitely find these ones. They've got the outdoors as well. And these outdoors look pretty cool. We've got the game area of the cafeteria. Some darts can be done there. You also have the pool right there. We've got the air ping pong or air hockey. So you've got that. And you've got these other parts as well. So this looks pretty cool for anyone thinking about building a scene with this. Or maybe you like to stage a bit of a show somewhere around here. Then you've got it. Now let's take a look at the hotel lobby. So within the hotel lobby, I'm just going to go ahead and set this to default view. Okay. So within the hotel lobby, 
this is what you get some very good old assets that you can work with so we can go all the way up and you can seal that part and we've also got lots of nice looking vegetations as well and very vibrant i mean the colors look very cool so you can see that some backpacks for the guests and we've got some luggage for the guests as well we can of course go ahead and look at this you can also tell that lighting is pretty intentional and you can see all of this cool stuff so in case you're thinking about a hotel scene a hotel environment there you go these are very cool stuff i think what is left of this now is just putting a few characters in there getting them walking around and you have a fully functional scene we've got the elevator and around the elevator you see that we have this private waiting section and outside that you'd also notice we've got waiting section across the whole hotel lobby so you can also choose to switch and view these from various cameras just like we talked about that of the amsterdam scene and this is pretty nice so these are very good assets and of course you can proceed to pick this up and start playing with them now let's take a look at the pharmacy scene and then we'll breeze through the rest of the scenes that we have so the pharmacy scene is also pretty nice let's tap g on the keyboard to get rid of the overlays you can see we've got all the shelves the labels of all of the stuff you know that is currently on sale well detailed scene i must say so you can see that you can also see the queue and we've got all this cool stuff going on here let's go ahead and take a look you can see we've got all of these other products right on the shelf and it's pretty decent like the way they've put this together is pretty decent you can also tell that we've got a little bit of an accident here a little bit of an accident there as well this is the cashier section and this looks good so if you're also looking for an asset or an environment like this there you go you have all of these well lit they've got all of the necessaries in terms of the lights the props and the details the textures are looking very very nice you can see how they hold up this looks good so the same thing can also be said for various ones as well the photo studio is also looking really really good so just in case you like to build a scene that exists in a photo studio or possibly you like to do a little bit of a shoot around the photo studio with your characters you can do that so within the photo studio you notice that we've got this nice gallery we've got the waiting area we've also got like the whole lobby that deals with you know where you book your appointments and we've got the studio itself so it's looking pretty decent and it's got all the props that you need for that studio performance we've also got the railway scene and this comes with a ton of dilapidated buildings and this is a fully destroyed or should i say dilapidated scene as you will definitely find a good number of abandoned buildings containers rails you also find some destroyed assets here too so just in case you're looking for a scene that has to do with lots of destroyed stuff you can come through and check this one out and this can be good if you're trying to set up more like a horror scene or maybe you're thinking about creating a gameplay scene these can come in pretty handy and finally for the showcase we've got the theater so within the theater you can also see we've got a good number of sitting so this is more like a theater for drama you know musical performances graduation all that stuff so you've got a nice looking theater you can set things up we've got the media boot right here and you've also got like the passages and right around here we also have the entrance so these are well thought out stuff that you can work with so for those who are thinking about checking these things out there are a ton of them that you can now play with come over to humble bundle where you can grab even more stuff like the american village house the modern library this is also very nice the pizza restaurant is also available you've got the modern home we've got tons of things like the tire repair shop the movie theater is also one there's also the laboratory the japanese stuff all of these are available so you know just in case you want to get them maybe just in case you want to use them for your project you can come through and check it out and look at this you're literally saving a ton if you're thinking about grabbing this as this is currently sold at 2334.84 pounds but you'll be getting this for 21.81 pounds and so 
this is it a huge shout out to the folks at humble bundle for making this one possible and of course for those who are thinking about getting even more stuff we're considering talking more about the very cool pro animation bundle which has to moho this is also a very cool one you can come through and check it out for those working with unity there is the mega mix unity asset so this again is also another big one that is currently available so for those who like to grab it you can come through check this one out if you work with unreal engine and unity there are also two of these that you can come through and check out which is called the big bang unreal and unity asset bundle that is an amazing cool one it does have a lot and a lot of asset that is also running out and for sure if you want to become a c and an unreal game developer by all means check out this one from packed as it also ships with a ton of stock so this is also another beautiful one for those that are thinking about getting started with unreal engine maybe you want to be a game developer you want to get started with unreal engine you want to start working and creating cool stuff possibly you want to learn c then this is also a good one for you so this is it i'm going to link all of this in the description and yes before we even forget the become a 3d environment slash prop artist bundle is also another one that is here so all of these are now available and you can come through and take a look at them, grab them, see what works for you, see the asset that best fits what you're trying to create and get good with them. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.